I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell mini mini PC and this is a Dell Optiplex Optiplex 3080 and in this video I'm gonna take you over on how you can open it up and how you can service clean and repaste the CPU on this ones it's really easy and fast and forward it takes up to probably five to ten minutes depending how fast you want to work I'm gonna cover the tool that I'll be using is a workshop towel one sheet of the workshop towel. Next, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFix screwdriver set. You're gonna be using a bit number Phillips one. You need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 99% plus. And your favorite thermal paste. In this case, I'll be using an Arctic MX4, which is really good for this PC. All right, to open it up, it's really simple. All you need to do is to loosen up this screw at the back. This screw will not come out entirely. You just have to loosen up while, when it's dangling right there, you wanna leave it like that. You wanna pull the top cover towards the front of the PC, just like that. About one centimeter, it will release and it will not come anymore. Then you just wanna simply lift it up and put it to one side. Right. Next, what you're going to do, you want to remove this caddy right now. If you have a hard drive, remove it, squeeze, and lift up the cover. We are going to remove three screws for the... First, let's remove this cover right in here. Pinch these two. We have a little tiny arrows. Pinch them, and this is the fan system. You can lift it up. Oh, before we do that, there's a little cable here for the speakers. You can grab a tweezers or a spatula. You want to untangle this cable right through there. Once you untangle it, you can go ahead and lift it up. Bring it to one side. And you want to pull this jack, this jack for the fan upward. Just bring it up. Only goes in one way. There's a little rail right there. Put that to one side. Now the CPU is right away under this heatsink, the RAMs are right over there. To remove the heatsink, you know, loosen up these three screws. You just have to loosen up, they do not come out entirely, they are pretty hard. There we go. Next, you just grab it up, bring it up, you see this thermal paste is already dried up. So what do you want to do? You want to grab a little sh workshop towel, a little bit, spray it down with an alcohol. Put one spray on top. Now we're just going to go ahead and clean the surface of the CPU. You don't have to go clean up all around it. As long as you clean the top portion, you're more than fine. Once that one is cleaned, this is 11th gen. Or 10 gen i core 5 so clean up the heatsink i don't know why they put aluminium they don't put any copper in here but i guess this is fine nice and clean now you can put an alcohol on top do a second pass gently and remove all those dirt from there. There we go. Next thing is to just grab the thermal paste. You want to put an X pattern, put a nice thick X, one line right there, and the second line goes right through there. There we have it. Now that we have that one in there, make sure that you put the two screws on this side and one screw on that side. You want to bring it down evenly over put it right there and there's a little number one two three follow the numbers or oh, doesn't matter which way you want to start as long as you cross the screw there and this is a triangle so you will end up cross screwing it there i usually do a few turns on each and then i'll go back again so it evenly spreads the thermal paste over the cpu also you don't have to go crazy tightening it up just enough once that one is in there, next you want to grab the jack, put it right on top, 
and push it down on the contact right there. Grab the fan system, put it right there and push it down, make sure it clicks in. Run the cable for the speakers right in front, right there. And that should be all. Next is just to grab the top cover, put it in an offset position and slide it back and tighten up the screw. Again, if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.